This is an obituary from uh, Phoenix, Arizona. A man named Randall Jacobs uh, mm. passed away uh, at the age of 65, and, uh, but he was known to his family as Uncle Bunky. And uh, one of his family members. Well, now it's sad. To me. <laughs> <laughs> well, I actually have a cousin Bunky, so that's what initially caught my eye about it. But because I I have a Bunky in my life, um, but uh, <laughs> so that's what initially Bunky ass. <laughs> bunky ass. That's what initially caught my eye was the was the Bunky name. But this obituary is incredible. Uh, here we go. Randall Jacobs of Phoenix, Arizona, died at age 65, having lived a life that would have sent a lesser man to his grave decades earlier. <laughs> his friends called him RJ, but to his family, he was Uncle Bunky, a.k.a. the Bunkster. <laughs> <laughs> a.k.a. Grandmaster Bunk. <laughs> this guy sounds like he got wasted on the weekends. <laughs> to earn the name the Bunkster. <laughs> he told his last joke, which cannot be printed here on May 4th, 2020. As it is racist. <laughs> <laughs> he was double fisting natty light uncle bunky burned the candle and whatever else was handy at both ends oh He's, yeah is this a news story or a folk legend this is a fucking printed in the newspaper obituary this is oh. a this is a family remembrance of a great man in arizona mm-hmm. oh, okay. uh yeah he burned the candle at both ends and whatever else was handy he spoke in a gravelly patois of wisecracks mangled metaphors inspired profanity that reflected the arizona dive bars Colorado ski slopes and various dodgy establishments where he f- spent his days and nights. He was a living, breathing, hang loose sign, a swaggering hybrid of zony <laughs> desert rat, SoCal hobo, and Telluride ski bum. So he's just like uh, borderline homeless, is what I'm gathering <laughs> from this. Yeah. Seems like it. Uh, a prolific purveyor of bunkyism, such as save it, clown. <laughs> or Zebo, if he was in a mood, he would mercilessly short for gazebo. <laughs> right, right, yeah. He would mercilessly tease his quote goombats nephews with nicknames such as Mudflap and Style Master. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, this guy is like speaking like the Droog speak or some shit. <laughs> The Goombats and the Style Master. It, it remind, right. it, I, see, I immediately, because I guess they referenced him as like a, a, a desert rat, my mind immediately goes to Charles Manson. No, oh, man, he was a mind freak, man. He was a, he was yeah. a ski loose. That's because Charlie's, a, in, he Charlie's was, in your house. He, he was a mud flap. He was a mud flap. Hang loose, baby. The Beatles are talking to Charlie. <laughs> uh, Charlie's already in your heart. <laughs> uh, just days after... <laughs> Just days after his beloved cat, Kidders, passed away, he too succumbed to the quote-unquote Great Graw Do, <laughs> <laughs> leaving behind a vapor trail of memories and a piece of sage advice lingering to his loved ones. Quote, <laughs> Do what Bunky say, not what Bunky do. (laughs) For all his chaotic energy and hysterical charm, he had a gentle soul. A night out with Bunky could result in a court summons or a world-class hangover. But his friends and family a would world class do, hangover. do things that are both bad. Yeah. <laughs> he but called his, his friends the renegades of bunk. <laughs> <laughs> but his friends and family would drop whatever they were doing to make the trip out to see him. His impish smile and irreverent sense of humor were enough to quell whatever sensibilities he offended. He didn't mean any harm. <laughs> that was just bunky being bunky. Um, R.I.P. R- to the bunkster. Yeah, to bunk a bunk a burn in love. <laughs> When the end drew near, he left us with a final bunkyism. Quote, I'm ready for the dirt nap, but you can't leave the party if you can't find the door. (laughs) He found the door, but the party will never be the same without him. In lieu of flowers, please pay someone's open bar tab, smoke a bowl, and fearlessly carve out some fresh lines through the trees on the gnarliest side of the mountain. Whoa. Bunkster was definitely cutting up some lines. I don't know if they're on the side of the trees or not. And some trees, too, it sounds like, you know? Absolutely, dude. This is, I mean, talk about a seasoned partier, dude. R.I.P. to the Bunkster. I'm telling you, man, the Bunkster seems cool as shit. That that is a guy that stayed single. (laughs) Absolutely. (laughs) That is a guy. I mean, in real, like, I get it's trying to be funny, but that is the saddest obituary ever. (laughs) If you just died and they're like, remember how fucked up that guy got all the time <laughs> that was bunky yeah. hey man that's the only thing notable about him <laughs> he, he was like such a fixture at that bar he was at that they had to like fucking you know like they cleaned him too when they like yeah. opened the chairs and shit and they'll, like they'll he, call one of the stools bunky seat for the yeah, rest of the uh, bunky yeah. seat some of the patrons some of the younger patrons have like weird memories of like doing coke at his house or something yeah yeah yeah, <laughs> yeah. 
I told me about his ex-wife. Yeah. A bunch. <laughs> and then he started like writhing around and we thought he was like, you know, overdosing, but he said he was doing the funky bunky. <laughs> 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 yeah, I definitely know guys like this. You know what I mean? Like I've got yeah, your my, fucking cousin well, Bunky. My cousin Bunky is just a very like normal dude. Uh, you know, he's he's chills in uh, uh, Ono Island down in uh, down near Gulf Shores and oh. uh, does some bird watching. And I think that's about it. So uh, uh, break record. up the Beatles Island. <laughs> 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 so my the Bunky I know is pretty you know pretty regular, but uh, this this man has earned yeah. that strange nickname. I think. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I'm sure he was a you know. It's really born in a bunker Man, i don't know i mean it's his, it's funny because it says his name is <laughs> like he goes by bunky but he never wants to talk about his time in the bunker <laughs> <laughs> well, it's man like, why are we why are we hanging on that man let's have a beer man come on i want to talk about the blitzkrieg right now <laughs> <laughs> well, his various names are randall jacobs uh and then his friends called him rj but to his family he was uncle bunky aka the bunkster yeah so. the bunkster who the hell knows? But yeah, yeah. So, uh, uncle Bunky he sounds like a fun uncle. He sound, yeah, yeah. He sounds like the uncle that passes out on Thanksgiving before the meal is mm-hmm. served. Yeah, yeah. He, he's the uncle who catches you smoking and then asks you for a cigarette. Mm-hmm. Yeah, or he's the one who provides you with the cigarettes uh-huh. that you're yeah. smoking. Just don't tell your dad. Right. I lost the last fight to him. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> he says, "Give me a cigarette, or I'll tell your dad." Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Well, yeah. How are you guys doing? Oh, good. Pretty good. You oh, know, I just did an online comedy show. Yes, please. Let's yeah, let's yeah, talk go? about it. I got I've, my my first one tomorrow. I talked. I've been into doing a that computer. one. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I don't know. Was it uh, was it good seeing everybody from Austin? Yeah, it was good seeing the people that I knew. They could. I mean, uh, you could hear their reaction and yeah, stuff like yeah. that. Okay, okay. I got some laughs. Okay, that's good. Yeah, I'm I'm a little worried, man. I got one tomorrow. Yeah, you should be. Yeah, it's not easy. <laughs> it's not. E- yeah, yeah. No. It's kind of weird. I, I've been doing one with people from Nashville too, uh-huh. and. It's like, I'm sure, I don't know if the one from Austin was like this. I'm sure everyone kind of treated it like a mic where no one talked. And You do the thing where you text each other <laughs> when you're talking shit uh-huh. and you don't like. Well, I was supposed to be second on the list and the first guy just didn't show up. So I became first. Oh, uh-huh. And then I sat around for the person after me just to see what it was like. And, you yeah. know, I think everybody was just kind of like fucking weirded out by it. A yeah. little bit. Was but. it their? Was it the first Zoom show that they had done? Their first open mic. Okay, okay. for like yeah. one of the clubs in town. That makes sense. The one I'm doing tomorrow has been going for a while. Uh huh. So, and we actually, I have to like uh, do like a technical check in with them tonight. Uh huh. So okay. like they have to like, like check, sure everything check my out, sound so. levels and lighting and shit. So right. Uh, seems seems professional. <laughs> I don't know. I we'll mean, see. It's. I think it's. Yeah. I mean, it's the same shit. It's just like. If you, as long as you don't look at your own face, <laughs> and uh, yeah, like yeah, that, yeah. that shit is hard because I, I like I could not look at my own face and do it, and like look at like the corner of your laptop, look at the corner of your laptop, look at like just go into like a room of people so you can see their reaction uh-huh. and not just look at your face. But I mean, it's it's like the same shit where it's like the first time you go up, or at least for me, it's just like the first time having sex. Okay, right. right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> you know, your thumb is right up your asshole, and <laughs> you're crying. <laughs> No, like it's like the ver- the first time you go up, it's like you you have all this energy and you're nervous and shit, and it it works for me. And then the second time I bombed, <laughs> like okay. the second time mm-hmm. I bombed my ass off. But the first time I was like so nervous and kind of like prepared in that. I way. didn't know when to pause for laughter, so I really just didn't. Yeah, I just kind of just plowed through it because I heard from other people that's the best thing to do. But. Yeah. I don't know. Since it was my first online set, I really have no perspective on what is a good online set. Yeah. Uh, MK on the show a few weeks ago, he he had some tips. Yeah, he did. Uh, Yeah, he was saying do props, uh, lots of props. I couldn't (laughs) couldn't think of any prop bits. I was surprised. Like, I was going to... I went on that mic and I was like, "Oh, everyone's gonna be bad, so who cares, right?" Yeah, yeah. And, and then, then everyone was showed good. Up, showed up to kill. And yeah, like a bunch of people <laughs> showed up to kill, and I was like, "Shit!" Yeah, yeah, yeah. And you can't do old material on a mic with your friends from back home. I'm supposed to do fucking ten minutes, man. Well, I think it's gonna be. You can do your old material because <laughs> it's not it's gonna be show, to like all your old yeah. friends. I've I've got, you know, things have happened in the quarantine that related to 
things that I had already written that I can kind of halfway bullshit. Like I've, I've I've been eating a lot of hot pockets, folks. <laughs> Speaking of hot pockets, <laughs> right? Yeah. Hot pockets. Bit. You just do yeah, Jim Gaffigan's hot pockets bit. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So I've been freebasing cocaine a lot during quarantine. <laughs> Boy. <laughs> oh, wait, you do the bagel bites bit, right? <laughs> yeah, I do have a bagel bites See, bit. See, I was yeah. thinking of that. Uh, okay. Yeah. Oh, yes. Well, yes. no, I, I had a thing about uh, Pier One, you know, and they oh, went okay. out of business, yeah, yeah. so I can I can easily segue that. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah, you do have a Pier One. You bit. know, to what we were talking about a few days ago, I have been doing that thing where, well, the last one, I just took stuff that I've said on the pod uh -huh. <laughs> and yeah, said yeah. it in the mic. Oh, that's what I'm, uh -huh. oh, yeah, I've just, I'm just going to be pulling shit from Twitter. I, I feel like I had a strong uncut gems joke today. Uh-huh, uh-huh. Oh, you know, no, I should have done that. That's yeah. right, as the internet has reflected. Uh-huh, yeah, so, you know, we'll see. You, you have been showered in the uncut gems that are likes. <laughs> yes. Oh, yeah? Are you going viral right now? No, not really. I just uh, uh, I said uh, uncut gems is the cilantro of movies. Uh, some people really love it, and other people are being little bitches. So, yeah. shit, okay. It's hard on Twitter right now. Which, you know, I was like wor halfway worried people will get mad at me for saying, you know, using the word bitch. But then I was like, actually, I actually don't really like cilantro. I've spent the last eight years being less of a bitch about it because we live in taco heaven. But, you mm. know what I mean? Like, you can. So uh, it's it's about it's a joke about me, really. Uh, <laughs> I really could take or leave cilantro. <laughs> yeah, it's <laughs> all right. You're, you're neutral on it. I'm neutral on it. It's I, good I, on some things. Yeah, that's yeah. my whole thing. Is in sal tacos in salsa. That's where it belongs. It's when it hops out of salsa and tries to become lettuce upon a taco. Where I'm like, no, 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 no. Oh, you don't, yeah, like, you don't like that? It just like when it's a shitload of it. Like yeah. if it's mixed in with the onions and it's whatever, it's fine. But like you know, mm. there's some places where literally it's just like they put that shit on there, like it's fucking lettuce, and you're like, hey man. Man, way too much it's an accent not a not a primary taste okay man yeah well if i want to know more about tacos i'll ask this white guy from alabama Am yeah dog. right folks that's right hey Jeez. you ask the man you ask the man who's eating the most of them <laughs> i don't know i don't know if we can pre i've eaten a fuckload of tacos that's true yeah. let's not get in a taco eating contest <laughs> let's not get in a dick measuring taco eating contest here okay how many tacos do you think you can eat Oh, see, I'm not a, you know, I'm more of a, a, a quality over quantity kind of yeah, guy. I get that. I like a, I like a nice, like, you know, three to four just fucking mm -hmm. great tacos. I yeah. watched Joel Jimenez eat like 13 one night. I, I could do that. Yeah. I could absolutely do that. You if, think so? If pressed, yes. <laughs> because if, really, if like really hungry and really high, yeah, I could eat like If they're tacos. like those street tacos where they're kind of skimping on the meat a little bit, then yeah. yeah. But man, there's that, that place over by the fucking Virgil where they just pack it out with meat. Mm. And you're just like, this is, you get three of those and you're just done. Yeah. Oh man, I had the meat sweats for like three days. <laughs> oh my God. All yeah. tacos are not created equal. That's no. absolutely true. No, I, I actually, Actually, uh, I have a bumper sticker on my car that says that. <laughs> <laughs> it just has a picture of a vagina next to it. <laughs> <laughs> Why did I say vagina and not pussy? I really am killing my respectful. brand here. Because <laughs> 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 you're being respectful is what it is. <laughs> oh, so hungry now. I'm thinking about it. <laughs> oh, yeah. I was hungry before this. <laughs> Me too. <laughs> we have a... Uh, we actually have our, our friend uh, Davey Red uh, at Davy. Uh, wrote us a uh, actually gave us a nice uh, fuck Mary kill classic. Oh, I'm good. I'm okay. great at these. Fuck Mary kill. Uh, so fuck Mary kill. Tom Jones, Tom Goss, and Tom Selleck. Oh, this is the easiest. That's shit in easy. The world. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, All right. Wait. Tom Jones, Tom Goss, Tom Selleck. Tom Selleck. Oh, you killed the shit out of. Tom Jones. What? And no. you fuck Tom Selleck and mind. you marry Tom Goss. Out of your fucking mind. Tom Selleck, dead. He's a fucking water waster. He's a Republican NRA shithead. Fuck him. Tom Selleck, I can, you can shoot him into the sun. Burt Reynolds has always been better. Uh, I obviously, didn't know all that other stuff about him. Tom, I was just talking about his glorious prison pussy. <laughs> <laughs> Tom, Tom Goss is, del <laughs> is delightful. I could absolutely spend every day uh, with Tom Goss. You marry the fuck out of Tom Goss. Tom Jones, my God, have you seen him uh, performing with uh, you know Tina Turner and and uh, Crosby, Stills, Nash and Young? All of those great clips on YouTube. I, you fuck Tom Jones. I, I changed my answer to yours. Uh, yeah, Tom Jones's Latter Day Records too. Very good. Yeah, all of his Man. shit's good. Yeah, fucking uh, the him and uh, Moose T did that uh, did that record. Mm -hmm. My God. Mm -hmm. yeah. No, yeah, you're right. You're you're correct. Tom Jones is great. I just Tom, got I got caught up in Tom Selleck's mustache. Tom Selleck does and have he has a fun mustache. Absolutely, but I just I feel used. You know what I mean? Like I should I didn't look. I just saw the mustache. I didn't see the person. Yeah, well, <laughs> you know, even if that other stuff wasn't you know true. 
you know, he was like a, a big water waster a couple years ago because he has a fucking like he has like a thousand avocado trees in the backyard of his mansion. Ugh. And they were saying that like Tom Selleck was using in his neighborhood enough water for every person in the neighborhood to have water for like 10 years mm-hmm. in one month or what or in one year or whatever. Whoa. So, so yeah. Yeah. So he's got to keep those avocados wet, baby. Yeah. So, just yeah. like how he made all of our moms wet in the <laughs> 70s and 80s. Just like how he keeps his boy pussy wet. <laughs> yeah. What do you think, Sam? Um, well, clearly, fuck Tom Goss. Okay. Right? Yeah. Right yeah. off the bat, you got to fuck Tom He's Goss. He's exciting. He's got a mohawk. You know, he's funny. Yeah. yeah absolutely. I guess marry Tom Jones. He's rich. Yeah, okay. Right? Yeah. But actually, he's not an asshole. Yeah, that's true. He's cool. That's yeah. That's why you kill Tom Selleck because Rivers just convinced me he's bad. He's a even bad guy. I know nothing about him. <laughs> Shit. <laughs> you don't see God, I, I just answered all the way wrong, didn't I? You didn't I? see no Magnum, Magnum there's, PA? There's no fucking right or wrong to these. I said yeah, PA. Right. I got Magnum PA. And Magnum TA. Ma- Magnum, <laughs> TA. Magnum PI. That's Magnum, yeah, Magnum PA. That's a script that's being written right now in quarantine. <laughs> yeah, production. A detective productive <laughs> assistant. It's, what the fuck took you so long to get my coffee? I was solving a murder. About, I mean, traffic. <laughs> okay, how about this? Magnum TI. Oh, oh shit. Yes, yeah, yes, yes. Yes. There's our first sketch, boys. <laughs> Magnum TI. <laughs> Who's doing blackface? <laughs> 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 not me. Not <laughs> it. Shaka, shaka, not me. I, <laughs> I think in these uh, in these Zoom times, we could probably get the man himself. Ti. Yeah. I, you know, I really wonder what the limits of that are. Like, what, <laughs> what, what's like the cele- What's our celebrity cutoff for someone we could get? You yeah, know what I mean? Like, that's true. We probably could get Tom Selleck, but Ti, I don't know. Yeah. <laughs> Let's see. Maybe if we ran into him on the street. And <laughs> just pulled out a cell phone and started filming him. Yeah, yeah. I mean, if we saw him on the street, he'd probably tell us to tell that we don't know him. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and he call us shouty. Uh, <laughs> You're killing it with the references today. <laughs> Thank you. That was a deep one. That was a deep cut, yeah. Yeah. I, I, I love, yeah. I like his music, and I'm very hungry. <laughs> <laughs> uh, we got a, uh, a very interesting one <laughs> that from uh, our friend underscore Tom Sherlock. Uh, uh, this one, it says... Will you guys do impressions of each other? <laughs> I, I'm bad. I've already established that I'm bad at impressions, but I'll Seems. try. Carter can definitely do it. Yeah, yeah, he's yeah, an yeah. impression guy. Yeah, this is true. Yeah. Oh, jeez. All right. <laughs> now Carter's just trying to think of, like, how do I do this as nice as possible? <laughs> um. What, what, where do we go from here? <laughs> I mean, it's up to you, buddy. You can you can yeah. uh, you can shut it down. Yeah. <laughs> you can shut it down. <laughs> you shut it. Is that me? Yeah. <laughs> I don't know. I'm like Dolly Parton. <laughs> <laughs> What's up, y'all? Yeah, Rivers y'all? is kind of difficult because I have a southern accent too, yeah, but yeah. his isn't very I'm pronounced. A, I'm gonna brine some chicken and some sweet yeah. tea. There we go. Yeah, yeah. Some, yeah. Get, <laughs> get that's some, something you'd yeah, say. Yeah, get some brown, <laughs> Get some collards up and collard greens. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I mean, it, uh, yeah, no, I, 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 you know, <laughs> like when he gets like hysterical. <laughs> yeah, mine, mine is just a uh, high pitched and heavy breathing. I think. <laughs> no, you, you, you don't really okay. breathe that heavily. Here's my impression of Rivers watching a movie. <laughs> That's Diamond Dallas Page. <laughs> <laughs> in that oh movie ready to rumble <laughs> <laughs> yeah man yeah yeah no it's, it's, it's he he was a it, what's something yeah it's something rivers would say about like well just everything you could ever know about a wrestler ever. <laughs> 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 oh yeah man randy orton worked at a, a dq before, uh, before he was a, a wrestling there we go for his wrestler man you know and, uh you know yeah just making some sweet great collards you know collard greens and uh some sweet taters. He worked, he worked at Scott Steiner's Shoney's. <laughs> Scott Steiner's Shoney's. Worked the lunch rush with his uh, <laughs> wife there. I think I've, I've done you on the podcast before, Sam. Yeah, yeah. My Sam is just Carter's Sam. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. She, uh, uh, she, I, I called her a pussy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> the, the one vocal thing that I picked up from you that I have now noticed in everybody from your home state is that y'all say Texas. E-Z. Texas. 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 Like that. Yeah, yeah. Like we like we say Texas with the hard S and yeah. then you, you and every other motherfucker like Ben from Austin did it too uh-huh. when we talked to him on the phone. Uh-huh. Everybody goes like, oh yeah, I'm from Texas. 
like that. It's, yeah, that's, that's, that's the, one, that too. the one. The one. The <laughs> one tick I've picked up from you so far. Yeah. <laughs> We've already bastardized the word Tejas. Sure, sure. You're right, yeah, right. Yeah. So yeah. why not just fucking go with it? Yeah. Any which way you please. <laughs> no, for sure. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Any which way but lose. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> it's like the same thing with shit out here. You know, like yeah, Sepulveda yeah. is pronounced Sepulveda. And, sure. Yeah, you know, yeah, yeah. Los Angeles. Uh, yeah. Not, not how you say that word. Those words. Yeah. Los Feliz. Yeah, yeah. You know, Los right. Feliz. Yeah, yeah. Well, yeah. I think that is that satisfactory. I don't know. If you keep asking, so. I'll do it again. I don't know. Yeah, 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 yeah. We'll we'll we'll, <laughs> we'll try to work on it. But PayPal Carter five dollars, and he'll do the mean ones. <laughs> <laughs> he'll do the mean ones. <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> Fuck. That sounded like me. <laughs> <laughs> PayPal him five dollars. <laughs> <laughs> oh God. <laughs> yeah, pay, pay, if you PayPal me money, I'll absolutely I'll show up at your house post quarantine and do impressions of anybody. You know? <laughs> and people used to ask me to do that in high school. Yeah, like I, this guy named I remember this guy named Graham. He was like, "Hey, you do a fucking impression of me? Why don't you do it in my, to my face?" <laughs> but he was like in the efforts of like being fun about it, and I was like yeah. just like sweating bullets and like almost crying and be like, "Hey, I'm Graham." <laughs> <laughs> and he was like, "Yeah, it's pretty fucking funny, dude." <laughs> Did he actually like it? Like, uh, he was kind of like, like his girlfriend laughed and patted him on the back, and he was like, "Man, you're 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 lucky. I'm high, else I'd beat the shit out of you." <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, ha 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 ha. <laughs> That's one of those things. I feel like people either re- it's like being roasted. Like people either yeah. really love it or really fucking hate it. <laughs> yeah, for yeah. sure. Wait, does it? Can anyone do an impression of me? Can anybody do an impression of me? <laughs> I, you know what's funny is like I I feel like I should because I've edited so much. You've you heard know, my voice. I've so heard much your voice now. so much, but I'm trying to think of like a card. You need you know like every impression. You need like a some phrase that's very like distinct to set it off. Sure. You know? Like you know if you're doing like an Australian thing, like I always start with like right, right, you know, right. right. Yeah. You start with that, and then you can go anywhere with it like this. <laughs> I lo- for a New Zealand thing, there was it was on these special features of the Lord of the Rings uh, DVDs. Don't ask me why I was watching it. Yeah. But uh, uh, I I always queue up the uh, New Zealand accent by this one guy. He goes. The seat was wet, and we had to meet the deadline. (laughs) (laughs) It's like how you talk. The seat was wet, and we had to meet the deadline. Yeah. yeah. (laughs) Well, yeah, because they've got the little, like, at the end of their words, it kind of, like, turns up, like, almost like it's a question. Right, 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 yeah. Right, yeah. 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 Right. (laughs) (laughs) Yeah, of course, yeah. (laughs) Carter's a hard impression, because it's like trying to, like, fight Shang Tsung in Mortal (laughs) Kombat. You, know? <laughs> you can just become any so of art shapeshifter, man. I, I mean, I, I, I guess I'm kind of a chameleon because I hate myself. <laughs> mm-hmm. Yeah. Uh, I think yeah. when I was a kid, I had like sort of like a vaccine or something, and then I tried to delete it, and then it just started being nerdy, and now it's just like some weird Midwest, Midwestern thing <laughs> after like smoking for 10 years. <laughs> And then you're like, Graham sounds cool. Maybe I should try to sound like Graham. <laughs> try to sound like Graham. I don't know. <laughs> We're going to actually uh, call down to uh, Nashville, Tennessee. Yeah. Speak to our friend Seth Pomeroy. Oh, um, I do an impression of him, too. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> okay. All right. Okay. Oh, we're having fun. <laughs> all right. Okay. Fuck you. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> so he hates it when I do it. Joining us now uh, from Nashville, Tennessee, is our friend comedian, uh, film director, all around uh, king of Nashville. Some have said because he really hates it when I call him that. It's Seth Pomeroy. How's it going? <laughs> hey, what's up, guys? How we doing? Seth, I, listen, I, I already told Ben Sawyer. I told uh, Nate Bargatze. Uh, I, I, I told Dusty Slay. I told everybody you were the king, and you they had to suck it. Thank you for telling them. Finally, I blocked all their phone numbers. Uh, <laughs> and yeah, man, they, until they respect the real king of Nashville, quit walking around fucking shaking their tail feathers in my corner <laughs> <laughs> like drag queen talk to like talk to drug dealer talk all at once yeah. that's what you, the king of you, Nashville does you yeah. wrap it up with some like Mel Gibson talk you blow me and 
yeah. fuck you. <laughs> That's right. I'll be leaving you all individual voicemails. Like, like, <laughs> so you know the king of Nashville do it. <laughs> you don't. You don't want to come to Jacuzzi. Yeah, <laughs> how come you want to come to Jacuzzi? The truth of the matter is, I was born here and I never left here, and that makes me some sort of king. <laughs> it just means I smoked too much weed in my twenties, and then I woke up at thirty-seven. <laughs> <laughs> and I know a lot of people now, so it's great. I, I use those years correctly. Hell yeah, man. <laughs> life well spent, I say. That's right. What are you guys doing? How's life? Man, we're we're chilling, dude. Life's good. Uh I, I would say uh for the people listening, you know, some of y'all may already know Seth because this is his first appearance on the on the main feed free proper episode, but uh our patrons uh will know him from our Fear of a Black Hat episode that we did a couple weeks ago uh That's on the right. Patreon. So uh, if you're not already on uh, patreon.com slash the goods pod, get on there to uh you know hear our uh are us talking about uh, a really great movie that Seth recommended to us, actually. Yeah, it was but, really good. But for everyone else, this is Seth Pomeroy. This dude is uh, uh, super cool, real fun, uh, and one of Carter's uh, closest friends and one of my newest friends. So it's real yeah. good to have you on the show. Hell yeah, man. I love being on the show. It's like, I feel like I made it. This is great. <laughs> if I could be on a Los Angeles podcast from Nashville, then what, what am I doing? What am I thinking? <laughs> you, you really are yeah, the king. What else do I need to do? What exactly is anyone else doing? That's yeah. Like, you, you fuck around on a Los Angeles <laughs> podcast. Hey, man, you, you, you fuck around. You're going to be the emperor of Nashville. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> that's right. Know, that's right. Yeah, exactly. And the emperor is like the really old character behind the main bad guy. <laughs> <He's really old. laughs> Disgusting, oh, see, I, who is, is a clone and his daughter is you know it's all very confusing these days but oh uh, see i, 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 I was <laughs> I, I was gonna say you got you got to the end of apple podcast and you saw there were no more worlds to conquer and therefore you wept that's, that's right, right. Yeah. and you're damn right i did mm-hmm. and then i went to exegol and i got a i got a fleet of uh star destroyers and i'm sorry i, I love making fun of how they derailed the entire arc <laughs> <laughs> there for the emperor. <laughs> that movie was fun. I just like what? shitting on it. Oh, it was, Wait, was so that fun? Was that the last one? <laughs> it was very fun. It was, yeah. Yeah. No, I, I could not tell you one fucking thing that happened in the last one. I swear <laughs> to God. I think that's the value of it, kind of. I mean, I would compare really? it to uh, one would say Josh Trank's Capone. <laughs> oh, boy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I'm just joking. Oh, God. This whole debacle again. I'm obsessed with Capone, but I, I won't get into that. Uh, but <laughs> to I people who are listening, uh, Seth d- a triple books himself constantly. That's true. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. To talk about Capone only. <laughs> that's right. Josh Trank uh, tells it's, me to stop it, talking about his movie. It, it, it's in your comedy uh, writer now. You will not do a podcast unless you're talking about Capone. Absolutely. Well, I will dress like Capone. I'll have a carrot in my mouth. I'm going to put some really <laughs> shitty makeup on and then play so I get a crease exactly on my face. Uh, you know, just like, uh, yeah, but um, no, I watched Star Wars Rise of Skywalker, or whatever the fuck it's called. In yeah, the Skywalker, the Star <laughs> Wars Rise. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Right. The Rise of, I don't know, pick one, whoever, whatever. Yeah. Uh, Solo, Skywalkers, whoever. Uh, yeah, the so Dark Skywalker Rise. background. And that movie plays like it's on. Joe Bob Briggs fucking like Trailer Park movie night like the beats are so quick and and silly and like it's like a straight up B movie but it's a Star Wars movie it's crazy like they explain nothing they just keep oh moving. yeah oh yeah it's <laughs> it's great <laughs> dude I mean kind of fun for that reason like, yeah that, that's why I liked it I don't know man I I, I kind of dug it it was uh, uh they gave you a lot to unpack I like that yeah. aspect of it so yeah you know they're gonna have to spend. Uh, you know, countless gallons of ink are going to be spilled in those uh, in those books, trying <laughs> to explain right. some of the leaps in logic that were made in that movie. What an industry! Oh yeah, absolutely. <laughs> it's, it's disgusting behavior. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, uh, I just think it's great. You're like, yeah, we only kind of half wrote this one, so you can read all the other shit. We're just not going to write those now. <laughs> like, if you did that in school, you would be in a lot of trouble. <laughs> I, I actually think I wrote some Star Wars fan fiction in fifth grade that made more sense uh truthfully <laughs> yeah exactly yeah well you were trying to close the deal they were trying to open new possibilities yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh i was gonna ask seth because we uh you know we we've talked to uh, several comedians and uh, uh just you know different uh, funny people that we like all across the country we've kind of been asking the same couple questions of everybody just to to kind of get a, a lay of the landscape oh, cool. where you live what has been your most insane grocery store experience so far during covid19 oh most insane grocery store oh i actually know exactly what this so this is like the last time i went to a kroger i don't know if you guys 
know what a Kroger is out there. Oh, I got my Kroger Plus people. card in my pocket, yeah, baby. Okay. Yeah, you yeah. know. Y'all there are Kroger's out here? Y'all know how we do. No, we it's Ralph's. Ralph's, Kroger. yeah. We scan Food and we life. check and shit. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> uh, so at that shitty grocery store, which is uh, basically where you might find conservative, white trash, Republican type people in Nashville. Shopping. In Tennessee? Hot damn. <laughs> <laughs> the hip the hip Trader Joe's is uh, it's 20 minutes away. So, right. uh, so I have to work hard to get to Trader Joe's. But I was in the Kroger and... And uh, this guy walks up, and this was right when all the toilet paper stuff was getting, like, really frantic, and everyone was getting really scared when it first was like, hey, you're going to – your jobs are all going to go on hold. Like when everybody kind of knew that was coming and it was like less than a week away, all the toilet paper was gone in Nashville pretty much. And I'm sure the rest of the country. And so I went to the Kroger and there was of course no toilet paper. I didn't expect any to. And this old guy walks up with a box that says Cottonelle on it. And he walks up to an employee and goes, excuse me, what's in this box? <laughs> and the guy's <laughs> like, uh, I s- assume it's some sort of toilet product. Does he goes, uh, could you open this box for me? <laughs> and he's like, uh, yeah. And he opens it and it's like flushable wipes. Uh-huh. And he's like, oh, okay, awesome. Thanks so much. He tries to take it from me. And he's like, well, sir, I can only sell you one toilet product. Goes, but I found the box. <laughs> <laughs> so that was like, and that's all I heard of the interaction. So, like, you, I mean, this man clearly was like digging around in the back, like where the bathrooms yeah. are. And she's the like, stock I room. found the box. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's an escape from New York. And I've got the, I've got the handy wipe. Yeah, I was going to say, like he's, like he's Indiana Jones. Yeah, like he's, yeah, I found yeah. this artifact in now, this tomb. Do y'all honor yeah. a finder's keepers policy here? <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> Like, he's like, all bets are off, man. We're all out of jobs now. I sound that box. <laughs> hey, hey now, motherfucker. In my eyes, in, in my eyes, thou, thou art both the losers and the weepers, okay? <laughs> That's right. But that being said, I got one of those packs of fucking Cottonelle flushable wipes because <laughs> my boy couldn't buy all four. So there you go. <laughs> man, man, you being good to that duty hole. <laughs> yeah. So he's dead now because that was 40 <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he has like all the symptoms of a COVID ever. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. His ass got so chapped that he got coronavirus. <laughs> oh, yeah. oh, see, I was gonna say he <laughs> open wounds on his ass. <laughs> see, I, was, I was gonna say he got uh, you know torn apart like Dionysus in the parking lot, and they they took yeah. all of his toilet paper from him. <laughs> yeah. yeah, yeah, that probably did happen eventually. But I think I like to believe he's laying down a carpet with his ass in a lot of pain. <laughs> <laughs> that whole box, which I did find. We wouldn't be in this situation. <laughs> I'm <I> leaving. <laughs> Man, if he had just kept his cool, got into the checkout line, not said anything, he wouldn't have been ripped apart. Yeah, dude, just go to the pack self- of wolf. Yeah. Don't say shit. Open that box yourself. What does he not have? Car keys? I Open the yeah, fucking just box. Leave with it. <laughs> yeah, just even leave with it at this point. <laughs> yeah, just walk out with that shit. <laughs> that was real early on in the game. And from that point on, I went to like Whole Foods, which is a way bigger grocery store, so it's less hectic. And they also give a shit. <laughs> you know, it's oh, pretty good. different than Kroger. So I pretty much not. I pretty much had groceries delivered. So that was pretty much the only thing I've seen, really. Okay. Um, yeah. Well, that's that's fucking hilarious. The the other question I was going to ask, and I, I don't know yeah. what what your uh, like living situation is, but uh, we were asking about uh, neighbors ha- because to me it seems like you know the the big thing here is that uh, the main two things people have been doing during quarantine is either going to the grocery store or staying at home. Uh, so the yeah. ne- the next question is like neighbors. Do you have any weird is there any like strange shit happening with your neighbors? You know what's so funny? That's hilarious that you're intuitive enough to know that's happening everywhere, yeah. <laughs> all the entire <laughs> the entire globe every day. I never think about. I just never. I, I guess other people have experiences like me too. You know, as the king of Nashville, you don't always. <laughs> <laughs> other people are living lives too. You know, you know maybe uh, if you come no. down from your ivory fucking tower, <laughs> <laughs> That's like my Cottonelle flushable white tower. The, the uh, ivory tower in Nashville is shaped like a guitar. <laughs> yeah. That's right. It smells like a baby. Uh, so, <laughs> but anyways, uh, yeah. So my neighbor is some sort of EDM. Uh, a drug addict <laughs> because he's in his truck all the time in our driveway just bumping that shit and the thing is is I understand that you would like that music on drugs in a neon sort of uh, dance club I understand that sure. he's in his driveway you sound like a cop <laughs> so, uh, I don't know what he's doing but it has to be drugs because I don't know why you're just sitting in your car while all your roommates are inside and you're just bumping it and all I can hear is that's all I can hear. So it sounds like the same fucking song unless all of them have the same beat. But either way, 
I mean, it's not like he's like getting a doobie and listening to the wall. <laughs> it was like, I don't, you have to be on hard drugs and, you know, you have to be freaking out there. <laughs> you, know, yeah. like you have to. And so he's, he's been doing it late at night, but I'm usually up because I'm editing this documentary I've been working on. And so he's, I'm usually up, so it's not a problem. Other than that, I'm like, oh, there's that guy just smokes some crack or something. But <laughs> like, beyond that, it's not a, not a problem. But he started doing it early as fuck now, too. So now I'm like, dude, am I going to have to knock on your fucking truck window and be like, hey, can you shut the fucking club down until fucking 11 a.m., please? <laughs> like, it's like, I open it up, there's like 17 people in there. Like, What's up, dude? Like, wait, what is this? He's making Airbnb money off his truck. I mean, like, people party in there. I don't know. I'm sure it feels like that for that guy. That guy's just in there sweating and watching his boner go down. Yeah. Well, I know. I wish I could remember. This guy, is, he always always says hello to everyone because I just have not seen him outside. Thank God. So I actually don't even know what he looks like. And he's bothered my roommate and he bothered Josh Fadum, who's a Los Angeles kid, <laughs> when he was in town and hanging out at my house. And he left and the guy goes, what's up, neighbor? And he went, oh, hey. <laughs> like, that guy just called me your neighbor. <laughs> and, I like, and I was like, oh no, that guy probably thinks you're me. I don't, <laughs> don't, don't talk to him. He's some EDM psycho. Yeah, don't yeah. Well, that, that guy. well, hey, that's that's better than you know him getting recognized like you would hate for the guy to be like hey oh, you're totally. on better call Saul <laughs> yeah that's exactly he would just be like uh, okay yeah sure okay I'm know. running <laughs> now this is what um, I look like running yeah this is, yeah because there's nowhere to go And but this guy he's like he doesn't understand boundaries at all I mean he, he already told my roommate that he wants to one day jump the fence and smash a beer with us which means to me a lot of negative things <laughs> so, uh, that is a threat jumping a fence jumping a fence we're not going to yeah. let you in and you're going to jump the fence <laughs> then you're going to smash a beer with us doesn't that mean yeah, fucking man. I'm, 2020. I'm gonna pull a B and E and kill a beer with you. <laughs> yeah, no, it's maybe you said kill, which is even more. Oh, either way, yeah. either way, some shit like that. I'm gonna, I'm gonna premeditate and murder a beer with you. My, yeah, uh, but I'm avoiding. I'm avoiding him. I'm never gonna speak to his ass. I never want to see what he looks like. <laughs> I don't want to know how many fucking tattoos he's got on his face. I never want to see his. Man, uh, my, that's one lonely man, <laughs> dude. Yeah, yeah. My uh, my upstairs neighbor. Uh, when I was a sophomore in college, we lived in an apartment that was like basically three quarters of the way underground. Like to get to our like front door, you had to go down the stairs. It was like a dugout, like a baseball dugout Shit. almost. And it had this emergency. Cool. It was cool, man. I loved living there. It, it stayed. <laughs> it stayed like it stayed really cool in the in the summer and really warm in the winter it was like living in a hole uh, yeah. but there was a uh, there was a, <laughs> there was an emergency uh like a fire escape ladder that came down all the balconies and my we lived on the first floor and the guy who lived on the third floor would never use the stairs he would only use the emergency escape ladder uh -huh. so he would always see us Jeez. like hang it out on the porch and just be like what's up dude and we just would see him in all states of like you know completely drug addled madness ascend a ladder and it scared the, we were like we're gonna watch this man die like we would yeah, see it yeah. every night he would come home and he was one of those guys that like you know people who came over to his house would just leave pills and he wouldn't know what they were so he would just take them all and he was like what well, that kind of like spun you you know and one night uh we were hanging out it was like four in the morning we were in our you know sitting in the on the on the porch couch in the dugout and uh and all of a sudden, Poor scouts. <laughs> <laughs> that's too good of a phrase. That's like if you use that in a rap song, people would be like, "That sounds amazing." Whatever that means. <laughs> um, Anyways, but we're we're sitting on the porch couch, and and uh, this, <laughs> and uh, and all of a sudden, uh, just you know, vomit started coming down from the third from the third floor, oh, and, sure. and and it was hitting the bush, like like in the parking lot, kind of in front of us, and we were like, "Uh oh, Brian's had a crazy night." Right. And uh, and then we noticed that the the vomit was was pretty red, <laughs> and and we were like Brian, are you all right? And he goes and he just yells down. He's just like he's like yeah, man, I drank some moonshine that some deaf guy gave me at a party, and I'm uh, whoa. <laughs> <laughs> yes. He's like I think I'm gonna go to bed. <laughs> And then we, <laughs> yeah, yeah, exactly. Well, that's it for me. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, yeah. you know, I'm gonna, I'm gonna turn in. I tell you, whenever I start vomiting blood, I'm like, it is time for me to turn it in. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Usually, it's you read a book or something, and you're like, well, I've had enough. I'm gonna sleep. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's all good. I, I am worn out. I'm worn out.
out. <laughs> uh, Seth, I, I was going to run a, uh, a short news story uh, by you and uh, Carter and sure. Sam and see what you guys uh, think about this. Cool. Uh, this comes to us from uh, the beautiful Sunshine State, Miramar, Florida. Miramar police have made an arrest in a Memorial Day vandalism spree inside Miramar High School. A man caught on surveillance video trashing the school turned out to be 21-year-old Matthew Crandell of North Fort Myers, who spent nearly 24 hours inside the school smashing televisions and computers, vandalizing Whoa. rooms, walls, hallways. <laughs> he also smashed sinks and toilets, causing flooding in hallways and classrooms and other areas of the school. Oh, and also he was naked the entire time. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck yes, there are drugs in his system, right? Absolutely, <laughs> absolutely. So a naked guy got to smash wow. a school for 24 hours straight. <laughs> Dude, yeah, living the dream. That's amazing. Who wouldn't want to do that? When I was a boy, if someone had told me I could grow up, get naked, and smash up a school for one whole day, and then maybe go to jail or something, that's that's worth it. That's the you're, you're, I agree a hundred percent. But I would, I would. There's going to be a lot of glass involved. I'm going to need some coveralls, sure. bare minimum. Like, I, yeah, I, there's I also Bruce Willis did that in a mansion once. <laughs> I would, <laughs> the same thing. It was acceptable. I, I would like to see like the lunch break where he's just there and he's huffing and he's yeah. like drinking a juice box naked and there's just like bloody knuckles. I like systematically destroyed it room by room. Yeah. <laughs> I guess I'll go over to the tech hall and see, see if I fuck up yeah, some yeah. of those drafting tools. Yeah, it's like you don't start on the gym. That's gonna ta- that's gonna be a couple hours. You start on yeah, some yeah. smaller rooms. Yeah. Well, I was yeah. thinking it'd be like fun to first. I mean, my first move. I was gonna ask like, what is everybody's first move if you just get to smash oh. a school because my first move is obvious you go to the wood shop and get all the skill saws and uh-huh. then just start chucking oh, yeah. chucking them at, uh, at cork boards and shit <laughs> trying to yeah. stick them right wouldn't that that's be fun good, as eh? shit throw them like a frisbee that's good oh yeah sure. i'd head to the science lab and find chemicals yeah. and throw them on stuff <laughs> yeah <laughs> find chemicals and you'll be there for a week not one day <laughs> i'm cooking up shit in the lab <laughs> i'm gonna blow this place to high heaven in a very unique way. <laughs> yeah, you know, you know they have some shit that shouldn't be mixed together. In oh, there. yeah, for sure. Man, you, don't even to, yeah, you, you don't have to go to the science lab, man. You can fucking go to the, the cleaning closet, mix degreaser and bleach, and turn that into fucking tear gas. Possibly. Yeah, but Hell if yeah. I'm in there by myself, why the fuck would I do that? Well, if you're on me- if you're on meth, you know, you might want to be able yeah. to test test your might. Uh-huh. Yeah, so, well, I think when you, when you talk about this with logic, I think the bottom line is if you're a person who does this, there's no logic. So I'm probably just peeing through on the hallway. <laughs> yeah, you're just you're, as I'm running. You're, pi- you're pissing as you're running and you're throwing <laughs> up and you're crying. And, uh, <laughs> yeah, yeah. There's I mean, no system involved. I'm just peeing and going crazy. Yeah, <laughs> there's, a sense of, there's a sense of whimsy. Maybe you're just like clapping like you know ch- like a, a chalkboard erasers together and shit like that. <laughs> you're pretending yeah, you're yeah. your fa- your favorite teacher. What what are you what are you doing, uh, Carter? If you're if you're in this situation, <laughs> what am I doing? Yeah, what are you doing if you get to tear up a school for 24 hours? Well, first thing I would go into the office. Uh-huh. And I would go, uh, I'd get on the uh, uh, the mic, I'd go, attention, fuck <laughs> you. <laughs> that's good shit. Yeah, yeah that's, that's good. the first thing <laughs> I would do. Oh, attention, everybody, I have no penis. <laughs> <laughs> fuck <Yeah>. you. <laughs> Just fart into Yeah, exactly. Uh, <laughs> yeah, I would fart, I would fart into <laughs> Uh, into the announce system. Uh, yeah, and then okay. uh, that, uh, first things first. And Miss, then, <laughs> Mrs. Newton, would you please uh, yeah. to the office? <laughs> <laughs> Mrs. Newton, come quick. <laughs> 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 My balls are exploding. Yeah. And then I would go to the lunchroom and I'd try to find some food to eat because I'm hungry. And Oh, man. And, yeah. you know, and then I'd probably, I'd probably give it, I'd, I'd break one window and I'd be like, oh, shit. And then I'd Ooh. run because I was scared. <laughs> I, I did a no-no. Why? I would probably rub my dick all over the keyboard of the principal <laughs> right maybe their mouse you know yeah, absolutely <laughs> just i just want them apprehensive about the mouse yeah I, uh, you know i maybe. just want them to one day have to touch my dick particles <laughs> for expelling me or whatever they do yeah. so this is like this is for you this is yeah <laughs> this isn't a statement this well, is yeah. like well for that's you. that's my favorite little thing in the article is at the end it's like it is unknown if this man had any connection to the school i'm like dude he's 21 <laughs> He spent a day in there. Of course, he went to 
to this school. Of was, course. Yeah. No one's got that level of dedication yeah. to some shit they're ambivalent about, you know? Yeah. Yeah. So, I mean, me- meth is definitely <laughs> involved yeah, here. But yeah, I don't know. What, what's your move, Seth? What do you what do? You do? <laughs> I mean, I think, you know, I think I, you know what I would do? I would enroll in, in a bunch of fake classes <laughs> that I would teach myself. <laughs> <laughs> You'd better fake yourself. Subjects. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Like, like joint Roman 101, because I know about that. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you would bad be the teacher. Stuff, you... bad boy stuff. <laughs> 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 kind of, kind of I'm both. Yeah, yeah. You, you <laughs> show, my psychosis you... has led me to believe that I'm I'm fight clubbing this situation. <laughs> 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 me, how to be a badass rock and roller like I really am. <laughs> Something like that. Yeah, you Some sort of delusional fight club experience. <laughs> right, right. Where, but where you are both the student and the master, like I'm yeah, so, totally, both. totally. If I and I, and I yeah. And I take it very seriously on both ends. <laughs> <laughs> if, I, if I've said this once about Seth, I've said it a thousand times. He's just a bad boy with a sensitive side. <laughs> yeah, that's what it is. Yeah. I'm like Whiplash. I'm like that movie Whiplash. <laughs> <laughs> you're, you're, Joey, you're Joey Fatone and Lance Bass wrapped up in a one, baby. <laughs> that's right, God damn it. I'm you're, the king of Nashville. You understand. <laughs> <laughs> he's Miles Taylor. He's what Joey Fatone. guys lives here? <laughs> the NSYNC fellas lives here. The Kirk Patrick guy. Uh, Oh, he does. Oh, Chris Kirkpatrick. He can get his yeah, ass kicked. Yeah, yeah, he, yeah. He's he often shows up on my Instagram feed singing uh, NSYNC songs karaoke with some drunk idiot I know. Uh, <laughs> who? Usually, I'm like, who is good? I guess. Okay. Is that is that sad? Uh, I, can't tell. I, think it's, I think it's I think it's accepting your fate and being like whatever. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, like, yeah. <laughs> that's true. Yeah, it's re- it's yeah, it's resolved. I guess. Yeah, yeah. It's pretty graceful actually <laughs> to be like, oh yeah, yeah. I know all the parts. Sure, I'll sing that. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah, talking to people yeah, who don't want to talk to him about how Justin Timberlake's kind of an asshole. <laughs> yeah, right. Totally. I'm that's sure true. that's the go-to right after you buy him a shot. You're like, so is JT really cool or not? <laughs> <laughs> JC, is JC not- I really hate out or is that just for music <laughs> is that just for music <laughs> and he's like uh, i don't know man i gotta go <laughs> jc shaw says has kept that guy from committing suicide like eight or nine times yeah that's right <laughs> that's right yeah and and when he does he's in the padded cell from the i drive myself crazy video of course yeah right. <laughs> that's right yeah <laughs> oh my god uh, but he's probably all right <laughs> yeah, he's probably fine. He's probably okay. Don't, I hope he's not mad at me. I am the king of that, so I can have him fixed it at any moment. Uh, <laughs> yeah, I, uh, I, I was going to ask, and you know, be be as vague about this as you want, yeah. or if you don't want to answer or whatever. But uh, uh, sure. you, you've men- you mentioned uh, when we did the Patreon episode that you work in the service industry. Uh, has there oh, been yeah. has there been any like crazy shit happening at at, uh, at work? Well, yeah, I can say this with uh, without any worry about what might happen to me because I told them I didn't want to work <laughs> for another two weeks. No, <laughs> I was like, this shit's too early and I can't do it. So I worked three days uh, before I was like, I feel like we need more time uh, before we're here because where I work is a bar, but it's also a restaurant technically. So we're like the only, because of the restaurants being able to open back up, we were one of the first, we're the only one really in my part of town that opened up but as a restaurant, but people were coming up there and treating it as a bar. And because we haven't really set these standards and people are just, some people don't give a fuck that you have to constantly police people to the point where if you're not like have a sign on the door and have someone out front saying, before you walk in, here's the deal. Do you know what I'm saying? Then it right. gets a little hairy. So I believe from everyone else that's worked there that it's it, they've gotten that together and that's where they are right now is people are aware and there are there is social distancing going on. But for me, when I was there, it was the first three days and it was the goddamn Wild West. Oh, it was like a naked yeah. man in a fucking school. <laughs> and I was like, this fucking sucks. I do not want to be in here. I'm getting the fuck out of this building. So, But I, I'm going back next week. So I don't know anything other than um, – you know what I experienced, which was just people not wearing masks necessarily and people not thinking it's real or just being like the hardest part of it was greeting tables like, hey, how's it going, guys? They're like, oh, man, it's so awesome to finally be out again to see people. And I'm like, yeah, I don't want to be here, asshole. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it is, isn't it? You fucking selfish piece of shit. <laughs> yeah, I know. So I'm just like looking at them with a mask on and fucking purple nitri- nitrile c- gloves or whatever the fuck they're oh called. And I'm just dude. like, yeah, I'm having a deep people. Yeah, it's great. Yeah. <laughs> it sucks. I'm, I'm having a panic attack right now. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> 
That's what it was like, uh, which is why I had to stop. But I'm a I'm a frail artist person, so I'm weak. <laughs> <laughs> so, but you, <laughs> there, well, so there, there was no one like grandstanding about you know turning the masks into like a political yeah. thing or nothing. No, I haven't seen any of that. I mean, I assume for sure that's happening to a certain degree in, in any sort of public gathering. Oh, that, that's been the whole podcast. Yeah, that, everyone yeah. is everyone is insane, and America is a death cult. Yeah, uh, yeah. <laughs> so totally. That's, totally. That's, it's that's very weird. It, it it feels very over in Nashville. It feels like the yeah. pandemic is over, which well, is, you know, certainly it, it uh, feels insane. like that here, too. People are just <laughs> acting. It? Yeah. People are just acting it's, like it's not a thing anymore. It's beginning to. Yeah. Uh, or, yeah. Isn't it amazing that we've reached this level where it's like, fuck it. I would rather die. You know what? I'd rather <laughs> well, die. Well, we played uh, we played <gasps> that that clip uh, on Monday that I, I kind of put together like a supercut of all these people on the beach on Memorial Day. And the, oh, yeah. and the thing I kept hearing is literally people just going like, well, when it's when it's my time to go, it's my time to I go. And, oh, my God. And that that's why I, I mixed it. I put it up on uh, on my Twitter with that song, uh, The Great Gig in the Sky by Pink Floyd. Oh, yeah. Because there's Great. the guy on the song just being like, <laughs> well, you know, everybody's got to go sometime. You know, and, I, and like yeah, I kept yeah, listening right. to it, I was like, "This sounds like the guy in the Pink Floyd song." I don't know why it was that specific of a connection. That's so great, but yeah. it's just these like very pe- these people are just yeah. like at least saying, who knows yeah. how they actually feel, but saying to news cameras like, "I don't give a shit. I'd rather die right. than not consume." Which yeah, is crazy. Why, well, yeah. yeah, these people that's are why faith rules. Faith rules. Yeah, <laughs> you can be like, I believe it. I yeah, believe exactly. It. Yeah, <laughs> blindly. <laughs> well, shit, especially when you're, a, you know, an American Protestant and you're your own god, essentially. Like, yeah, it's, <laughs> yeah, of course. <laughs> you know. Well, they do this whole thing where they're like, you know, uh, God's already planned out my entire life. And sure. it's gonna and, rock, and and then yeah. anything they do is like, well, God made me cheat on my wife. Totally, yeah, you know, yeah. my, that's the way my life was gonna go. <laughs> Which means that the God sure. does. That's what I'm saying. Like God doesn't actually need to exist in that equation. That just means you are your own. Like it was gonna happen anyway. Like it's the you know. Sure. Yeah. So anyway, it, yeah. It, it takes you making the wrong decision out of the equation. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. no, that's what I mean. Yeah. Like you kind of you know, as as much of an atheist as I am, it's like you if you're gonna believe in it, you kind of have to have an angry god because otherwise yeah, well, who gives a shit you're a greased wheel just well, running in mud hey, we're americans <laughs> and we're allowed to have self-serving belief structures that puts everyone in danger okay <laughs> it's li- right. dude it's literally what the fucking country was founded on that's what the puritans were about man yeah yep. no. yeah so anyway uh <laughs> well i was gonna say that reminds me of dmx recently did an instagram live which i don't want hell oh yeah. fuck yeah hell I yeah it, but i i screen captured a lot of it because it was so fucking great that i couldn't believe what i was watching <laughs> I have it on my phone, and it, I'm a huge fan. He's one of a kind. Uh, there's no other, no one with that rap persona that's ever fucking made music. And, you know, in general, no one's ever had that persona as an entertainer ever. <laughs> you, mean, he, you mean scary he, uh, dog yeah. man? Oh yeah, scary <laughs> dog man who's like, yeah, yeah, oh absolutely. Oh, and he believes in God very much, and he's very and he's very uh, scary about that as well. <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah. Well, so so I'll, I'll make him, him my God. How about that? DM, yeah, I'll worship DMX now. <laughs> he's been my God for a long time some call him x some call him dark man x i call him earl earl baby earl yeah. Yeah. that's right <laughs> earl sick the, also respect his christian name if, earl is real we, we were talking ar- yeah. earlier about impressions seth does quite the dmx impression I do. to put you well, on the I'll spot do it. I, i'll do you this is the only impression i can fucking do and the reason why is because i bought the cd single of get at me dog which was the first dmx single uh-huh. at Sam Goody when I was like fucking way too young to have it and there was an interview with him on there that was so crazy and you know keep in mind I've only seen the music video for Get At Me Dog which was like strobe lights and in black and white so like I don't know what he looks like other than he's a murderer in the interview <laughs> he's like it starts with them going why oh Yonkers dog home of the brain <laughs> what and he's like yeah that's right motherfucking motherfucking now why these cats hate on you dog yo I don't know I don't know. You know what I mean? <laughs> <laughs> it's like insane. And I was like, I love this motherfucker so much. This is amazing. This is all that I care about. So, so this became DMX's obsession of mine. He means a lot to me. Uh, and um, so I was excited because I randomly saw that he was going on Instagram Live with some fucking idiot named DJ Fat Pooh Bear. <laughs> the Fat Man Scoop. That was it. Fat Man Scoop. So that guy's a, you know, well, if he's listening, I'm sure you're great. Uh, but, but, <laughs> he's very foolish uh but he's like yo x so like 
you know, he so they got X to do this in the quarantine, right? So someone's holding the phone for him, and his kids are running around and shit too. And but he's, you know, he was not on drugs or anything like that. A lot of people worry about him being, you know, cracked out and stuff. And he's been pretty sober for a minute, and it seems like he's trying to get his life together. So he was pretty together, but he's still the of X. So the guy goes like, he's like, let me ask you, X. So like, do you think coronavirus is a sign of the end times? Which is oh, an no. insane question to be asking someone, especially a fucking rapper. Yeah. <laughs> so, so he's like, he's like, yo, yo, we all gonna die. Everybody's got to die. <laughs> and he's like, <laughs> to, and by he, my hands. Goes, yeah. And he goes this big long thing, and then he's like, and that's why I don't understand when people be like, yo, yo, like uh, I'm sad, I'm sad. He's not around no more. Like, yo, we human. It's okay. <laughs> but at the end of the day, they went, God, so what the fuck you mad for? He's <laughs> like, dead serious. He's like, I don't understand. These motherfuckers, they, they get mad about it. I, I don't understand. <laughs> and then he goes, and then he goes, and a motherfucker that's been born on this earth that ain't died. <laughs> and, uh, and I was like, yes, yes, this is fucking amazing. And then he went on to talk shit about Lloyd Banks. He's like, Lloyd Banks, you like Lloyd Banks? Okay, rap four four bars. Let me hear four bars. What? You don't know him? You don't know him? Rock him. Then he just started rhyming rock him. <laughs> and he was like, oh, he goes, he goes no, nah, it's lyrically. He's not there, lyrically. <laughs> this was so great. And then, he, and then he's like, okay, top female rappers. No, 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 you can't do that, dog. Can't do male, female. Hot rappers, hot rapper. Hot rappers, a hot rapper. No, nah, it don't matter. <laughs> it's so he's also into like gender equality which is fucking insanity <laughs> Hell yeah. so it was the greatest thing of all time it's so great and he made fun of uh he made fun of uh uh what's the first fucking rap song i don't know why i can't think of it oh uh, sugar rappers Gang. Delight. oh yeah rappers delight. so he's like he goes look much respect to the old rappers i get it they started they paved the way look i understand but i'm saying <laughs> listen to this shit where, where rap started it started hip hop the hippity hip what's a hippie <laughs> what, what is a hippie? I don't understand. <laughs> it's like he was doing stand up. I couldn't fucking believe it. <laughs> He's doing better at these Zoom mics than anybody. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, and I was I was so I mean it was the greatest thing ever. It was so awesome. <laughs> but, uh. So I walked over and he goes, Yo, well, say what up, little man, say hello. And he like says something and walks off and he goes, Yeah, that's Exodus. <laughs> <laughs> All of his kids are named X something to X. Oh, like, I know ecstasy. Name, Xavier. Oh, that's <laughs> but when you get to, you run out of X names so quick. So yeah. like Exodus, fucking like Excalibur. What yeah. are you naming these? This children? is this is my daughter, X wife. Oh, that's uh, <laughs> yeah, right, right, exactly. that's one of the books of the Bible. So that probably yeah, that tracks. You oh, yeah, know, for yeah. sure. Yeah, and staying on brand with the X, of yeah. course. Yeah. Yeah. Yo, right. <laughs> this is my son. Sure exclamation I'm point. What? <laughs> 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 My name? Yeah, he's the best uh-huh. of all time. <laughs> this is this is this is my daughter Ziphius Gladius. It is the Latin name for swordfish. You know, <laughs> doing some reading, dog. Doing some reading. You know, I'm saying Shakespeare. This motherfucker be talking crazy. He's <laughs> like, yo, I don't get the words, but the part behind it, I feel. <laughs> but you know, oh my God, <laughs> I look at you, and I know it gets too dark. He's like, I'm trying to remember on the first record, there's a song called Prayer, a song. It's just him fucking talking into a microphone. He's he's like, and it's like, to do our dogs some good, our dogs being brothers and sisters in the hood. <laughs> Dr. Seuss, you're like, what is this Dr. Seuss shit? It's I mean, horrible. he he really does have like a like a, a a preacher cadence, you know what I mean? Yeah, to very, do all brothers and sisters good, totally, and totally. Good. very staccato. Yeah, yeah, very staccato. Yeah. It's all about the up and down. Yeah, the <laughs> I am not mad. <laughs> hold up, hold up. Let me slow it down. Let me slow it. Slow it back. Bring it back. <laughs> hold up. Calm down. Okay. <laughs> Yo, this is my dog, Existential Crisis. <laughs> yeah. yeah, that's right. But anyways, I, that shit was amazing. I tweeted it. If the listeners want to follow me on Twitter or look at the fucking video for those two things, they're both on there. Okay. Uh, well, yeah. I was going to talk about the hippie. Well, yeah, I was going to say. Standing up for women rappers. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, well, I was going to say, uh, where can people find you on the internet, Seth? 
Uh, it's just my name, Seth Pomeroy. It's a weird name. When you're the king of Nashville, you rub out the other motherfuckers you got. <laughs> I also talk like a 1930s Dick Tracy character. Uh, <laughs> that's the kind of king I am. Uh, yeah. Seth Pomeroy at Twitter and Instagram. It's S-E-T-H-P-O-M-E-R-O-Y. Um, you can go to my YouTube channel, The Ultimate Funny, and see lots of Carter Glasscock being very funny and lots of sketches oh, that yeah. we made that's right. uh, years ago. So they're all in there. Oh, oh yeah. yeah, man! And of course, you are uh, you're working on a uh, a documentary about a uh, man who's, yeah. who's going to be our guest on a uh, I guess a Wednesday of next week. Uh, oh, awesome. Chris Crofton, yeah, he's going to be yeah. calling into the show. The true king of Nashville, the true <laughs> king of Nashville. He left, but he's the, he's the real king of Nashville. People love Chris here. Yeah, People yeah. just uh, tolerate me, and I kind of I'm bald like him, so I'm a good replacement. <laughs> 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 but yeah. he's a. Uh, Chris is the greatest, yeah. And I've been working on this movie during the quarantine the whole time. So for people like us who have side projects and have bigger creative ambition and stuff and don't want to wait tables for the rest of their fucking life, it's really nice yeah, in the man. quarantine to be like, well, I'm going to get the focus on my fucking projects for once. <laughs> yeah, um, totally, so it's man. been great, but also somewhat maddening and, you know, and all that stuff. So it's, uh, but it will be done soon and I'm very proud of it and, Chris is the greatest. Chris is such a long history that he talks about, but I have documentation of that nobody knows about except people who lived in Nashville in between 2006 and 2013. <laughs> you oh, know? That's so, great, man. So hopefully the movie will, if people are interested in Chris, it will be a, a way to kind of uh, reveal like the secret history of how he became the guy people know now. Yeah. So, well, and he was a total alcoholic, and he doesn't drink anymore. Yeah. <laughs> That's a big part well, of it, too. Well, and, and as I said uh, on the uh, Patreon episode, whenever that uh, documentary is done and starts, you know, gets uh, gets its distribution yeah. deal and all that shit, uh, hopefully, uh, you know, if things are somewhat back to normal, I want to have both of y'all on the podcast to talk about it and shit like that. Absolutely. Uh, so, yeah, hopefully oh, yeah. hopefully it'll be in person and we can go get some tacos and then uh, and then do a damn uh, podcast oh, in, yeah. the, in the same room. So thank you so much for calling in, man. It's uh, it's always a pleasure to talk to you. Yeah, man. Uh, you're funny as hell, and I uh, uh, love hearing from you, and I hope you'll uh, stay safe, and uh, don't let any people in your restaurant get in your goddamn face about a face mask, please. <laughs> <laughs> That's right, goddamn it. I'll bite their nose off. I'll really I'll really give them coronavirus. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to infect them in a very dangerous fashion. Fuck yeah. Um, <laughs> yeah, I appreciate that. I hope you guys are safe, too, and I would never hurt a soul uh, Los Angeles, I promise. <laughs> 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 All right, we'll, we'll talk to you later, Seth. <laughs> okay, great talking to you guys. See you, yeah, see you man. All right, that was Seth Pomeroy, everybody. Goddamn, what a yeah. what a fucking oof, hilarious oof, dude. Oof. Oh yeah, I love Seth. Goddamn. Well, uh, do y'all do y'all have anything else for uh, for today? I don't oh, think no. so. Should I eat this salsa? <laughs> oh yeah. So what what did we call it? Sam's Sam's hot sauce corner. I don't know. That's you. You're the one who named it. I don't remember. <laughs> The original tweet, uh, our friends at the Apocalypse and Review podcast said, uh, I'm tired of people acting like there's a top five hot sauce. Hot sauce is determined by what it's being paired with, like wine or feelings. Uh, mm -hmm. And my joke back was, Texas Pete is like low expectations. I have that on everything. Uh -huh. uh, so that little, you know, little fun joke. And then that, that kicked off a thread uh, with Sam suggesting we should try a flight of hot sauce for the pod. And then uh, co-host Emeritus Pat Riley jumped in. Uh, Despite my persistent stomach issues, I I am down and then i said uh pat and sam's uh zoom colon boom uh and yeah. sam uh, that's when you brought up the fact that you have in your hands a el yucateco yeah chili habanero xx extra hot sauce which i have uh seen on the hot ones uh yeah. program on the youtube rivers claims he has seen it i have I, tried it. I have just seen it in the store i guess it says it's the mayan recipe it's pre-columbian no castilians get the hell out okay. of here castilians you give it a little shake yeah yeah what variety of pepper is it in there? It's supposed to Picante? be. It says uh, habanero. Habanero. Oh shit! Then yeah, that's gonna be. So it, it's got a green tint to it. Smell that. It doesn't really, smell too crazy. Kind of smells good. Yeah, I'm sure it does. Yeah, 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 yeah. So take a smell, I Rivers. I mean, it's a. Uh, yeah, yeah. Ooh. Rivers made a face. Ooh, yeah, I, I can. Rivers is sensitive to the spices. I'm very sensitive to spices. Visually sensitive. That's the main thing. Oh, really? Yeah. I get so red and sweaty and gross. Like, really? I, I genuinely do, like. I I oh. like spicy food to some degree, but I generally enjoy it in private. Get in on this, Carter. <sighs> I'm gonna watch you do it. 
<laughs> I, I, I can confirm that Rivers gets sweaty. I get very sweaty with the hot food. Now, yeah. what the hell? I'll try it. Yeah. Oh, well, shit. Now I got to do now it. Now you have to. You already get sweaty every podcast That's when true. you drink a warm drink. Ooh. I don't think it's going to be too crazy. I mean, they sell it at the store down the street. It wasn't. <laughs> remember when you got that like $30 bottle of hot sauce? Yeah. Yeah. What happened to that? I ate the entire thing and it was like Damn. 3 million Scovilles and it wasn't even fucking hot. Shit. Is that, did I do too much? Oh, that's how much <laughs> that's I did. That's about what I did. All right. Ready? Uh huh. Let's do it. I already ate mine. <laughs> people love smacking mouth sounds. <laughs> that's what people yeah, like. Sorry, it's gross. No, they need to know what we're tasting it. <clears throat> oh, boy. It's not as crazy. It's not as crazy as I thought it would be, but it's a little <laughs> hotter than I expected. No, you know you know what it did? You know what it did? It did not fuck my mouth up. It went straight, and now I can just, like, my... I'm very aware of my esophagus. My throat burns more yeah. than my mouth. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, it's... Um, mouth's okay. Um, this is just a classic... Uh, it's going to turn everything in my stomach into diarrhea <laughs> you think so you had so little of it you didn't even you barely had like a tablespoon i'm yeah. already i'm already fine my I, I got like a little uh burn on my lip which oh, is yeah. which is always an issue yeah, that's not that bad I'm, yeah. I'm i'm sweating a little bit but it's like a you feel like that's like that post uh-huh. ice cream headache kind of refreshing yeah. feeling yeah. yeah it's all right and i yeah. think this is i don't know I bought it because it said XX extra hot. Right, right. So it had the porno advertisement. <laughs> Ooh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think, I don't know. It's hot, but I get I've had I, hotter. Yeah, well, I was saying, like, yeah. uh, on the Hot One show, that particular sauce is usually number four, uh-huh. like three or four. So. Yeah, that's okay. it seems about right. Well, that, that gives me an idea of what the uh, the celebrities are facing on that show. Then if it's, that's four. Yeah, 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 yeah. It okay. goes to ten. <laughs> oh, right. Yeah, yeah. That's so just, that's yeah. Good. No, it don't go to five. It goes to ten. That's, <laughs> so that's four. Let's try eight. Mm. I think I could handle eight. If Dude, that's four. eight is always the craziest one on that show because oh. eight is always da bomb. Oh, I thought that was yeah. seven. No, no, no. Oh, da yeah. bomb, bomb is always eight. My and face that's, is sweating. The uh, that is the one that everybody like. Like oh, it's getting you, huh? A little bit. It's yeah. just well, I mean, it's not like unbearable, but it's kind of like feels nice because my face is like I don't know, sweating. <laughs> oh yeah, my sinuses opened up. My sinuses little. are opening yeah. up yeah, for sure. My sinuses stay open, baby. <laughs> That's right. Ooh, yeah. Slutty little sinuses. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Uh, That's why they call them a disco rivers. <laughs> <laughs> sinuses always open for business. <laughs> Plat- platform shoes Langley is what they call them. <laughs> Got them shoes with the goldfish in them. That's uh, right, dude. All righty. Well, uh, okay. Yes, I'm, I'm indeed sweating more than I was, but yeah. still pretty much uh pretty yeah. much the same you'll see it it'll be on the picture that we're about to take uh, yeah well yeah that's a show i'm very sweaty uh you can find my uh sweaty face on instagram at rivers langley and twitter at rivers langley i'm starting to feel it in my stomach uh mm-hmm. at slam harder we probably should have done this at the beginning to see how destroyed it got us throughout <laughs> the podcast slam harder twitter instagram uh youtube la comedy life hell yeah uh, Carter underscore glass. <laughs> oh man, it's fucking you up. Huh? Do you have any water left? I just, I feel like I'm gonna shit my pants. <laughs> <laughs> Are you serious? <laughs> like it's all. I it's, can feel it in my stomach, but I can't feel it like that. Wow. I just man. like I feel something move. <laughs> oh shit. Well, like you swallowed a goldfish? I guess we should yeah. end the podcast yeah. then uh, if that's the case. It's Carter underscore Glasscock on Twitter and Instagram. Find us on uh, uh, on uh, Facebook Facebook.com slash The Goods Pod on Twitter at The Goods Pod. Every episode ever YouTube.com slash The Goods Pod and uh, buy a <laughs> shirt. <laughs> Send us a hotter hot sauce. Let's buy see a- how fucked up we can get these fools. <laughs> yeah, dude. Buy a shirt. ProWrestlingTees.com slash The Goods Pod. <laughs> <laughs> I was uh, uh, I was talking with Jeff down in uh, Lake Charles, Louisiana, and uh, he was talking about a, a venue that closed down there. And I remember that I'm actually buddies with a band from Lake Charles, Louisiana. Uh, I haven't talked to these guys in forever, but uh, they used to come through Auburn in the mid 2000s. Real cool dudes. I don't know what they're up to now, but this is uh, Magnolia Sons, and the song is called "Jails Everywhere." And there goes the neighborhood. And all my directions fail. Later on the street signs And I got nowhere to turn Either way, I'm lost 
Yes, I know someone with the glass half 